Hello everyone, Simon here from MyForestMagicWave.com, just making a small video for the YouTube. Uh, I've been very, very busy last week, trading and doing all the webinars and, you know, teaching and stuff. Um, so, <clears throat> alright, let's get it started. Uh, just wanted to show you the updates that how, uh, what I do, what I teach and how I do it, what I teach, okay. So um, let's get started from the past. Uh, you know my style is uh, I show the charts uh, before and after I record, uh, you know, the upcoming move uh, or my uh, analysis for future future analysis, future targets. And then once they are achieved, then I make another chart uh, showing after. So, you know, it's like a before and after what happened, it, what was before and what happened after. So that you'll get an, a good idea that, uh, you know, what I'm um, actually <clears throat> doing here. Okay. So let's um, get started on this one. Let's say this one is a U.S. dollar index daily chart, and which is I made it uh, October the 16th. As you can see the date and the price here, you can see on, on your own charts uh, if you have one. This is a before chart. So the price was here, and I said, uh, this is the route that I gave. It's going to come down here to the TL and the support here, right? And then from here, it will bounce back to this TL. And then from there, we will see how the fundamentals are according to that. Uh, if it's going to um, break this, go up or uh, drop down from there. But this is uh, two things that will hit the TL and bounce. So what happened after that, we will see that it came down uh, nice and clean and hit the TL, gave me a divergence. This is my indicator, Sam's divergence, and this is Mogembo, also my indicator is all the way down. And with the divergence, it's a, a, a killing um, a strategy and, and, and setup. So <clears throat> now uh, you can see from here, the direction is up to this TL, and uh, this is what happened. Today, Friday, we close uh, like this. Uh, now you know that it, where it's going, um, it is going to this TL, and after that, we will see what happens. Uh, but this TL and this high is 73, 74, and uh, as this thing is going up to this TL, Euro, USD, Pound, USD, all the USD pairs will be coming down. Based on that, that it, it came here last week, and this week it started going up. This is a, a daily chart, by the way. So this is one, two, three, four, five. As you can see, that five working days uh, is Monday. And Sunday, when the price, uh, the week opened, it was right here. So at that point, I knew that if it bounces, the whole week is going to be. Uh, Euro, USD, pound, USD will be. Uh, all the USD pair will be coming down. So... What happened after that? Let me see other pairs. Um, I'll show you what happened to the euro USD and pound USD later. This is uh, yen index. Uh, forget about that because it's very uh, choppy and making a triangle. Now, this one is the chart that I gave out uh, to my subscribers on October the 16th in a webinar and the chart that, you know, it, this thing is going to drop here and then go back up again to hit this TL if possible so but it has to come down to either 3710 or 3664 and if we break this area then the target would be 3485 and the TL what happened is this okay surely we drop from there but uh, uh, as I was expecting that it will uh, bounce from here 3664 uh, and go back uh, up to touch the TL to, you know, finish the job, unfinished job, and then drop. It just dropped straight like a knife uh, and hit this number, but it still didn't hit. The drop is so, uh, you know, fast that uh, it, instead of coming in the curve, it just came straight down and hit the um, this number, 3485, without touching the TL. So you now you know that, you know, it is going to touch the TL, probably, right? But this is what happened. So my first part is still, uh, you know, on, and uh, it didn't bounce. But uh, you know, that's 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 fine. We took it nice and clean. We just follow the trend. 
and uh, I was short, and you know, it, it just like uh, I let the market uh, take me out, which it didn't all the way down to here. It was the, the drop was drastic, so um, plenty of it. So, right, so this is uh, one of the charts, and then um, Frankie. Obviously, you can see that uh, this is a channel here, and it was hitting 100% AB is equal to CD, and I said 100% AB is equal to CD 88, 88, and we made the low of 88, 89. Good chance of a bounce. Take long entries if present on five or 15 minute chart. Uh, this is the chart that I send out to my subscribers. And also to help out the daily chart that it is here, it's gonna go there and then, you know, maybe drop or that's later, but the bounce would be going to this target. What happened? This is what happened. Friday, it's like it's a daily chart. One, two, three, four, five. We started from here. The whole week we went up as planned. So far, so good. Next. Oh, this is another small four-hour chart even to help uh, clarify. Uh, this went up there, and this is what happened. Okay. By the way, this chart we are following from here, inverted head and shoulder. I said it's going to go up to this white la line, white band. It did exactly there, and then you see this blue downside I said it's gonna drop from there it dropped big time all the way here and when I said it go go up it went up it is now right around here somewhere okay so it is listening to me like a good boy very nice what else okay this one also you can see this was my analysis and I said so far this channel's TL is acting like the end of the road let's see October 26 and it was an end of the road because it dropped big time from there. All right, uh, several hundred pips, at least 200 pips or more. Uh, and I showed some uh, nice uh, entries on my website, myforestmagicwave.com, pound 30 minute uh, entry that produced uh, almost like 150 plus uh, trade, uh, a couple of them, by the way. So this is how powerful the analysis is. Um, this is nothing. Okay, this one, uh, USD Yen, you can see I had this chart also in my last webinar sent out to my subscriber saying that the new week starting and we will be going up. First target is this, second is this. Need to stay above 9670 to achieve these upside targets. And also a small chart I gave, um, I made uh, and how we're going get, to get up there. And um, this is one of them. Uh, October 25th, um, in Elliott Wave perspective or pattern that I, uh, you know, made a route that this is the harmonic pattern is in place. Uh, it's going to make uh, this one and, uh, you know, X, A, B, C are done. And then uh, point D, this is my specialty. Um, a, a lot of these uh, harmonic traders or whatever they use, uh, once the pattern is finished, they trade. Okay. But I don't do that. I, I don't do that. Also, but my uh, my main thing is that from C to D, that's the main specialty. That's I'm very good at, and uh, and I'll most of the time I catch uh, very nice uh, these you know for hundreds of pips if the chart is more for for our daily or weekly, a lot of pips from C to D, big 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 leg, especially when the first pullback is 76.8 percent, uh, 78.6 percent, that means it's gonna be making a butterfly, not a girdle. And uh, from, you know, from point C, it, even if you break uh, point B right around here, you have still, uh, you know, a lot. But if you catch from here, especially if you understand that, you know, it starts from here and it doesn't go in a straight line, usually it goes in five waves, impulse wave. Either if it's a C wave, it doesn't matter, or A wave, or wave one, or whatever, usually it's five waves. So what happened? Um, if you keep this scenario in mind, in your eyes, and you see this will happen, more or less exactly the same thing is happening now. It is flying up, and uh, one, two, three bullish candles solid from this area, which I showed before, as you can see. Uh, here I said, well, this is going to drop back wave one, wave two will be down here, and then go for three, four, five. It is doing exactly that wave one is finished, wave two is finished, and it's now flying for the wave third. Third wave. So this is how the analysis 
And if you get uh, these charts ahead of time, you can see for yourself what you can do in this forest market. And, um, uh, you know, I'm not bragging, but I, I literally challenge uh, uh, anybody in the market uh, come and beat my charts or make better uh, predictions uh, uh, of this uh, first move. Uh, this one, gold, look at this uh, weekly child chart. I mean, I made it in September 11 on some requests. I don't trade gold, but somebody requested it, so I made it. So it's going to wait one, two, or maybe A, B, and C to the downside correction or one or a two or b co3 whatever but it was there so i said it's going to come down here and it did uh, uh all, almost it is like halfway right and so by the way it's a weekly chart remember so you you know you have a lot of pipage in this move <laughs> okay it's from almost 1400 it is uh i don't know it's what 13 right now it is 1315 but it came down around here to just 1250 Anyway, so, uh, and the last week I spotted this uh, pattern going on, so I says, well, X, A, B, C, and then it is going to drop here and then bounce and then probably drop again. So what it's doing is that it is coming exactly, uh, as I mentioned, it is here now and a little bit far, uh, far, far from this line, but I think that you know, as soon as it touches it next week, it will probably bounce. Okay. So this is uh, what it is, and um, uh, if you want to know that what happened to Euro USD and why it came down so badly, uh, is a, this is a Euro index, and you, you can see this is a big supply zone, and we went into the zone, hit this trend line, and then dropped. Now this one, if you see what it is, I was mentioning my uh, telling my subscriber, uh, I mean in the video, that. Um, these are candlestick formation that you know very important to know and learn because um, uh, they are just very very important okay and these are a few of them that I, uh, I use and I made this chart my own this is my own chart uh, you know it's a evening star morning star tweezer top top and bottom and bearish engulfing bearish bullish and hammer a shooting star these are the only candlestick formation that I pay attention and and trade uh, not alone. I don't trade uh, candlestick formation alone unless they are on my support and resistance uh, uh, area, some kind of uh, a turning point. When I see these, they are very powerful. And that's what um, probably you will see one of those candlestick formation right here. We have just made here a morning, I mean evening star. A bullish candle is star and a bearish candle right at the channel TL, which is a very powerful sign of a reversal. Um, what else uh, happened during the week? Uh, I think that's about it. So the gold, this, and this is pound index, um, August 18. I said this is going to go to this high here channel touch and the horizontal are you right and which it did exactly and the even went up there a little bit try to go out and then drop back inside this level and now dropping again so this because of this dropping pound usd also dropping when the index drop pound index that means pound is getting weaker uh on the other hand we have um uh, this USDX now placing um, a, a morning star on a weekly chart and going up. And if it goes up and hit this, uh, uh, break this trend line and still going up, then, you know, Euro USD, Pound USD, uh, God save them. Uh, what can I say? Uh, so this is it for now. Uh, uh, if you need to have these charts if you think that uh, they are any good and uh, if you get it uh, in your email ahead of uh, time uh, as before charts before the trade happens usually I post uh, before and after on my website or here or there after the trade is finished because it's not fair uh, for my subscriber or subscribers because they pay money to get these charts so they're not for free 
um, you know, if you want to have them, you need to subscribe. It's nothing. It's peanuts. But I only want to help who really want to get help. Okay. If the help is for free, nobody pays attention. So if you really think that it is worthwhile and you can get something out of it, you really need to learn how to trade forex, disharmonic patterns, Elliott wave, trend line channels, how to draw them, what are these numbers on these charts, how important they are. Then, you know, uh, be serious about it. And, uh, uh, you know, it's a $50 a month, but what is it really? One trade, one standard lard, you know, few pips, and you have it. <laughs> okay, and I'm talking about, I gave you this, uh, uh, only last week, each and every pair went hundreds of pips. Hundreds of pips. Euro USD drop, you know how much. And um, pound, and, uh, you know, uh, the other pairs. Uh, uh, see, from there to there, from 138, let's say, for example, we are at 134 uh, something, 80, right? So let's say 135, 678. So that's 300 points right there. Only one pair. And uh, what is standard large? It's $3,000. Uh, if you don't know the math, I'll help you. <laughs> okay. So this is how it is. So, uh, you know, just showing you that uh, I know this is very hard business, very tough. A lot of people having hard time. So, you know, be my guest. If you want to learn, get these charts ahead of time. And not only that, uh, my Forex Magic Wave strategy uh, is uh, the strategy where you make entries from a 5-minute or 15-minute chart most of the time, and then sometimes you get a good good setups on a 30-minute chart as well. Okay, so you can go on my website and see how those are done. So this is not that, you know, that I just tell you, though, you know, this thing is going to drop and that's it. No, it's going to drop. Then I teach you how to look and how to find <coughs> the turning point exactly. <coughs> and as soon as the, the price makes the turn from a space, sorry about that, my have a problem. <coughs> so as soon as the turn is made on a five-minute chart, you you get the magic wave setup, and that's what you take. And uh, in a five-minute setup, now the stop loss is hardly uh, 20, uh, 20 pips, 18, 20 pips. So we played, we played very safe. So uh, I have a th throat problem now. So, <coughs> so <coughs> this is it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.